guys, um, welcome to my very first Homebrew Wednesday of 2016. I hope you had a brilliant Christmas and a happy new year to you all. Now, a few things uh, are going on. Uh, UK Smash Off, which will be on a separate video, is coming up, so uh, look out for that. Um, a few upgrades and a few brews planned for this year, okay? So. First of all, I'll take through the, the, the upgrades that I've got. They're only small ones, but they're unnecessary. And they're mainly on the grain farmer. So there's, there's the grain farmer. Okay, as you can see, the first of the upgrades, of course, is this jacket. Well, it's a, an insulated jacket. It goes all the way around. Uh, I was having problems maintaining a full boil, so I thought, oh, I'll buy it. Um, we'll give it a go. So it's a uh, official merchandise. This one, um, and it's uh, just uh, Velcro fastened here. Uh, I had to cut a hole for my sight glass because obviously that's not standard fitting. And then I noticed. Well, now I'm going to have to uh, uh, mark the actual glass itself for the increments because now it's uh, it's all hidden behind the jacket. Okay. So let's, uh, let's just move this now so I can show you what else I've brought for this contraption. I don't want to drop it, so give the shoddy camera back. Well, I wasn't going to bother, but it was only cheap, so it was only like a couple of quid. That's the grain stopper. Yeah. It's basically just like a stainless steel rod. Take that off. It just fits in there, stops uh, stops the grain going down the uh, that central pipe there. Okay, so I bought that. Just put that back on there. Now I'll just uh, take the basket out. Now down there, I bought the new filter. Okay. Again, that wasn't quite, it wasn't very expensive, but it is uh, a good deal bigger. Um, yeah. This one is the original, this one is the new. It's got a central tube, which is just uh, a rubber thing. I'll take it out. Yeah. A little uh, focus there, it's got a little hole there for the water to go through. So we can actually have that bit just facing downwards. Uh, it's uh, designed to stop any sort of clogging up of the pump. So this is the old one, so this one went in. So put it like that. So it went in like that. Okay, that was it. That was it for filtering. Well, it did used to clog. I used to get covered with hops or whatever. So, so and this new one goes. Oh, let me just put this down a second. Okay. Okay, so the new one goes in like that. Yeah, it's on the inside. You want that 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 um that cut there? Uh, to be facing down, obviously. There is a plastic cap, a rubber cap, should I say, somewhere. Typical. Oh. You can see these are all very well scripted, these videos. So this uh, little uh, rubber cap goes on the end there. He says, for God's sake. Right, so that goes on top on the end there, stops anything going in, obviously. Uh, and then that slides in there. Now, you have to put it in. 
uh, that way so you can see you've got a short bit and uh, a long bit from the uh, little, little rubber stopper there so that's going to go in that way like so uh, otherwise it will just uh, knock against the uh, this thing here the uh, the probe and that's it that's it for the upgrade anyway <coughs> So there, so that's it. Um, I haven't brewed with these new things yet, so that will be next. And back there. Steve, um, I could do it with the lads before Christmas. I just didn't have the room or the or the time, so we're going to do that. So I'll make sure that gets done. And also this year, I'm going to concentrate on trying to perfect um, a red ale. Uh, so I've got the ingredients. The Paul Steve, peculiar one. I've got some uh, candy sugar somewhere, I forget what, but I need to get some molasses before I can brew that one, so that'll be done. Uh, probably I'll buy it uh, this evening when we go shopping. Um, one of the other things I wanted to talk to you about is you know, the aforementioned red ale. I bought this uh, malt. Okay, this is a pale malt, a base malt rather, should I say. Uh, it looks like any other pale malt. Uh, it's a. Uh, this one is actually called uh, Red X. And apparently, it's supposed to give you a reddish colour beer. So, I'm going to try that with a little bit of crystal. Try and get my red. Uh, red colour uh, done nicely. So. This is a, is, a, is a base malt, it's a red X malt. It's got a red hue, you can use this up to 100% of your, of your grist, of your grain bill, yeah. So that's, uh, what have we got in there? We've got five kilos in there, so that's, that's good, all in one brew. What I might do is I might um, just get a cup full steep in some hot water, see what I get, I'll see what kind of colour I'm looking at here. And then uh, I got one of these, which is what I'm going to be, I'm going to grow this up, I'll probably grow this up today actually, I'll get it on the go. This is the uh, White Labs Pure Pitch, um, new on the market apparently, they're, uh, let's have a look here, it says uh, Cultured with care for 17 days. Yeah, comments. Let's have that the front. It says here, pure pitch. You are holding the industry's first pitchable yeast grown and delivered in the same package. So the yeast has been grown in this package. Uh, yeah. So you got like um, you got like the outer packaging and it's like a, a tough inner bladder, for lack of a better term. Um, so. So this is White Labs Pure Pitch, the result of a five year journey to create the absolute purest yeasts ever. Yeast have never been exposed to the environment in its most perfect and natural state. Oh. Hello. 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 You want a drink? Yeah. Alright then go sit down and get your drink. So that's it. So that's the um, Irish ale focus. Focus. Yeah, yeah. It's not happening. Yeah. What? Yeah. Milk? Yeah. Right, 
go sit down then. I'll bring you a drink. Whew, I suppose we better go give the, the little kid a drink, eh? Um, so that's it. Uh, that's what I've got coming up. Um, I will do some more up to dates. No, I will do some more updates <laughs> as time gets on. Um, I will. I will be filming the brew day, uh, especially with the red ale and the, the journeys that I do with that. I'm trying to get it right, I might just get it perfect, really, as, as well as perfect as I can get it. Um, and then. Let's see how these uh, upgrades uh, help the grandfather maintain its boil. Um, when I say it's not maintaining the boil, it does get a boil on. It'll it'll hover around the 99 degrees. It just doesn't sort of tip over. So yeah, it's um, basically when I brew, I have the window open, the back door open, and there's a constant flow of air. Uh, thus keeping the temperature down. I'm hoping this uh, insulating jacket will um, will do the job and uh, keep it out of boil. So that's it guys, um, I will see you on the next one. Um, watch out for the, uh, uh, what was it, I forget now, fucking brain's gone to shit. Smash off, watch out for the smash off video, there is a Facebook page already up. Um, once I put the video up, I'll start taking names um, and then we'll see where it takes us. So that's it guys, take it easy, see you on the next one.